we finally got to see Yor in action. For the first time in 20 episodes, we finally got to see Yor in action. <laughs> Sadly, it was all in her mind, but still, I'll take what I can get. It was still a really cute little segment, the <laughs> idea of Yor essentially showing Anya the robes. I think I seen that brief clip in the preview in the last episode, and I kind of assumed it wasn't going to be the case where suddenly she just dresses up Anya as an assassin, and they go out and do stuff that doesn't make any sense. But yeah, funny little episode, really kind of just everybody hiding what they actually do, because yes, Anya is doing a project for the school in order to research an occupation that you're interested in. I think if you wanted to get a, a uh, Stella, I would have the elegance guy. I would totally go to the elegance guy and say how you like what he does and, and you want to help other people learn with knowledge and be elegant and... That would be the way to get a Stella. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt they. I, I assume they would have some sort of restriction that, yes, doing that is going to be an obvious and don't bother. But yes, that all leads to Anya obviously asking Yor about that. And Yor going through her whole mind about her process, which is cool because technically we get an insight into how she does her jobs. That she gets this call from the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper gives her like a briefing on exactly what she's doing. She goes over those notes very thoroughly so that she knows exactly who has to be killed because she doesn't kill anybody outside of her target. And yeah, knowing the layout of the place they're going to, taking out her target, and yes, going into long detail about exactly where she decides to target the targets. <laughs> they die really quickly if you hit here, or you can go straight for a vital, and then yes, all this blood just gushing out, and your Anya's just standing there. I, I'm just gonna wait. I'm, I'm waiting for somebody to post the Chinese version of that scene because there's, it's been a long going. I don't know if it's a meme or a joke, but there's people posting a censored version in China, which they replace all the blood with white. Which I've seen that in the past, so it doesn't, it doesn't shock me if that's what they're doing with Spy X Family. But yes, that's gonna be very inappropriate seeing Anya being splashed by a different color. But that's, that's one of those things where they think it's censoring and it's not. <laughs> it's not what you think you're doing. It's milk. Milk everywhere. I think that would fall. I think it would be removing it. I mean, Yor was really young when they had that whole scene that everybody was showing the pictures of where everything was turned white. And it kind of falls in that territory where you're trying to avoid, you're censoring for the violence, but you end up throwing it right into the realms of something else. And I would think that would be a lot worse to have on television. But no, I'm getting way sidetracked. But Anya, yes, realizing that's probably not a good idea. I'm going to go check out Papa's work. And yes, Papa... Lloyd walks in the door and she's just like, kitchi, 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 kitchi. She's like, blah, blah, yada, yada. Just absolute gibberish. And he immediately goes, okay, got it. It's like, at first I was laughing because it's kind of one of those things where they're just not wanting to retell the whole thing. So they just have her say a bunch of gibberish. And you assume that, yes, she's actually asking to go see his place. So for comedic beats, they're just making her say gibberish. But in actuality, if you think about it, Lloyd already knows what she wants. Lloyd's been watching her all day. So when the moment he comes in the door, she's just like, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yeah, I know what you want. All right, let's go. <laughs> Which, yes, leads to her being taken to his hospital that he works at. And it was interesting because I assumed the moment that he probably found out about this project, he would have infiltrated an actual hospital, get himself implanted in there, and use his people to surround him. So he has a bunch of agents that are acting like doctors and stuff just to fool them. But it seems to actually imply that Lloyd actually did fully infiltrate. And yes, additionally, this new character that pops up. So they are actually going in there and he does have an office and everything. It's not that he's creating a facade. He's actually there and he's actually working. Now, he probably doesn't have any clientele or anything like that, but he does have a place there and he's actually communicating with people in the area. He says like one of the most important things is socializing with people so that you gain, gain trust. And in his mind, he's talking about seriously, yes, so that if somebody comes by and claims that he's a spy, everybody would be like, no, that's Lloyd. Because he's socialized with them so much. He's gained a reputation in the hospital itself. So it'd be impossible for somebody to see him being anything but a doctor. So I really do give him a lot of credit for actually thinking that whole process through and not just throwing something together just because Anya at this day needs to interview their parents. Yeah, it was kind of sad because on one end, he's actually verbally speaking something that's very serious. This idea that yes, I'm a psychiatrist, uh, well, what do psychiatrists do? Well, you know how people have colds. Well, people have colds in the head. And so I help them with that. And additionally, kind of going further with this idea that, yes, there's a lot of veterans, people that are from the war that still have scars that he wants to help them with. But no, in actuality, it's all because of Damien. Because <laughs> he knows that Damien's a recluse and he was hoping that one day 
the reason that he became a psychiatrist as his profession in this job is that he's hoping that Damien would be brought to that hospital one day and he can help him out. And yes, kind of going further with this whole idea of what, what's the most important thing? Well, getting to the heart of people, not necessarily your minds, because you can't read minds. And <laughs> Anya's standing there with this like smug look on her face and like, I can read minds. <laughs> Yeah, at least to the, the office where she finds out there's a secret door in the office and he leaves for a minute and goes and meets this one extra lady at the beginning of it. I think uh, Mal listers as Fiona. But we get a brief mention from Fiona that I'm kind of surprised that you're having troubles, Danya. Because he's kind of talking about how she's a handful and everything like that. He wasn't expecting her to be such a handful. And she's like, I'm very surprised that you're having problems with her. That she's not what you expected. So it's already implying that Fiona knows Lloyd. Like he, she's known Lloyd for a while. And so she's a little shocked in the idea that he's having troubles with her. And that leads into, yes, the the title for the next episode. It does seem like they're, they're going to get more into this lady. And again, it seems like they have a, a sort of partnership or they've worked together before. I'm going to assume that she probably likes Lloyd. So... Again, to that title for the next episode, I'll leave that be. But that's going to be creating a very interesting next episode. So I'm kind of I'm kind of interested in that next episode. But yeah, Anya finds a secret passage, climbs through it. Eventually, she overhears this meeting that's talking about people that see ghosts and how they don't give it any credit. So they're they're trying to figure out how they're going to handle people talking about ghosts and how they're going to treat it or if they're going to even treat it seriously. And yes, <laughs> Anya gets stuck. <laughs> Stupid face. They all start freaking out. And they're like, we're going to start taking this seriously now. <laughs> there's actually a ghost. We're going to start taking it seriously. But I like because she returns and there's a sandbox that he placed out for fun. And she thought it was going to be boring. But he's she overhears that he's expecting something from that box. And so she throws everything in there. And he's like, oh, my gosh, this is terrible. <laughs> I didn't know that her mind was in such chaos because everything's just buried, half buried. And in his mind, he's going through this whole situation about how she was pulled from an orphanage and she's been internalizing it this whole time. So I got to do something now just to help her out. <laughs> so we're going to go get a dinner and movie. And it's funny because after this, we had two callbacks. The first callback was that when he went to go read her notebook, she freaks out because she's going to see everything I've wrote about spies and literally he can't read it. Which was a callback to like way back when, when they went to that art museum, there was a drawing place where she was able to draw on the wall and she drew all this stuff about spies and she was panicked because Lloyd came to see it and it was all gibberish to him. <laughs> Which yes, comes into play with the last segment of this episode. But additionally, when they get home, Yor actually mentions the amazing concussive recovery method that Lloyd <laughs> uses. <laughs> Which, again, was a callback to that one moment where Yor and Lloyd was in the car together and people were attacking. And so he was going around kicking people and she kicked somebody also. I always love these little callbacks. But yes, Anya tells the entire class what her father does and it starts out good. <laughs> like, it starts out good. It starts out elegant that he wants to help the people and the people of the war and everything. And then it starts getting into shady business and socializing with people and kicking people. <laughs> Becky liked it, though. I don't think Becky minded it at all. But yeah, the last segment was the, the secret code and the decoding. This is so bad because it goes through like this whole process of how her handwriting's terrible. She has Lloyd actually write it all. And then she starts passing out these notes to everybody to see who can decode it and meet her on the bridge. And it was bad because when she handed, <laughs> when she had in Frankie it, I totally thought Frankie was going to run with it. Oh, this has got to be a message from Lloyd. And then like dispatching the entire... <laughs> wise group to go after whatever was going on there like that Lloyd was sending them a secret code but no he ended up just smelling Yor and then going crazy with that good episode overall I, I enjoyed like I said uh, technically seeing Yor in action even though it wasn't what I was really expecting <laughs> it was still fun and yeah technically finally getting introduction to the last character in the intro which again I'm really looking forward to the next episode just based on the aspect that it seems like it's going to be a reversed Yuri aspect reverse of Yuri Brayer but we'll see that's my thoughts on episode 20 of Spy X Family we got five more episodes and the series is done so We'll see where this goes, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you did, make sure to hit that like button down below. Comment, let me know if you thought of the episode. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already so you can get all my content. I do news, reviews, first impressions, top list. If it's anime, it's pretty much here. Additionally, if you want to support the channel more, we have a Patreon link, a tips link, and a super thanks button down below. Greatly appreciate everybody that does, and y'all take care.